Silverleaf Whitefly have been coined the IPM Enforcer for some good reasons. Their explosive capacity to build up in numbers and their ability to rapidly develop resistance to insecticides makes them a formidable pest to manage in cotton farming systems. Good IPM from a silverleaf whitefly perspective begins early. Consider your farm and the areas around it. Take every step you can during the off season to remove any weeds that might be in fallow fields as well as cotton volunteers that are hosting whitefly. Think too about what your neighbours are growing. Whitefly can very easily move from field to field. The other objective should be to grow a really healthy crop. Moisture stressed crops can increase silverleaf whitefly activity and also increase the level of honeydew that whitefly excrete. Try wherever you can to avoid unnecessary insecticide applications. Popping an insecticide in whilst going over the top of the crop with a roundup application might make a lot of sense from an operational viewpoint. However, if the target pests such as myrids aren't really at threshold or haven't really caused retention issues, the disruption from putting in an insecticide with a roundup can result in an increase in silverleaf whitefly numbers, not to mention pests such as mites and mealybug. When you are using insecticides early in the season, be really mindful of the choices that are available to you. Some products are inherently more toxic to beneficial insects than others, so be sure to consult the cotton pest management guidelines for the best product to use for the pests that you might be targeting early season. The biological control afforded by a range of predators, as well as parasitism by Eremoceros hyati, can be a really important component in reducing the number of whitefly in your crop, and in some seasons will actually be enough to negate the need to spray. The other key for sustainable whitefly management going forward is preventing insecticide resistance. Silverleaf whitefly can build resistance to insecticides very rapidly. Resistance levels to all of the products registered for either control or suppression for whitefly are monitored throughout the industry each season. With the exception of pyrethroids and some of the much older neonicotinoids, the remaining products are still very sound. However, within the suite of registered products for silverleaf whitefly, it's pyroproxifen, our keystone product that perhaps is most at risk. Over the last couple of seasons, we've seen an increased tolerance within whitefly populations to this product. So the key thing to keep in mind for pyroproxifen is that we use it once and we use it well. A repeat application of pyroproxifen within a single season can give a dramatic increase in the tolerance and also resistance levels of whitefly to this product. So the take home message from this series of videos is that if we have a good foundation of integrated pest management, we use effective sampling and we use the products that are there registered in the right way, it should be very achievable to have good control of silverleaf whitefly and prevent the contamination of lint with honeydew.